Apple just released iOS 26 developer beta 5, and I expect that the public beta will either come out tomorrow or probably Thursday of this week. But let's go ahead and dive into it and take a look at how everything's going with iOS 26 in general. So you'll notice I've got the dark theme going. I really like this one. I've been going back and forth on everything, but it also works better in the video. I'll be switching around. We're kind of going to go through a whole walkthrough of the app. The first thing we want to do is we want to go into the settings and we're going to go to general and about. So iOS 26, you can see the build number on this is 23A. 5308G. So we still have a while before we get to the final releases. If you didn't know that G is kind of like a reference on where we're at in the betas. So we still have a while usually before we get to like the final release we're getting to the ABCs. Obviously the closer that letter is to A the closer the beta is to its final release. I also did want to say this build came in let me find the right one. That's not, it was a big build. So this build came in at 10.93 gigabytes. So it took a while to get this thing updated. Let's go ahead and take a look at beta five. First off, let's customize. So if I go up here, I go to edit, I can go to customize. Let's take a look at how you have the default, which is the light icons. You have the dark icons. We have the clear icons and we have the tinted that we had before. So you can actually change these around, kind of tint them however you would like. Let's look at the clear and just see how that's looking now because that's where Apple's kind of keeps changing things around. And this wallpaper may not be the best, I may change it as well. But let's go ahead and get out of dark mode, get back into light mode and kind of see where we're at here. Now you will notice, I will say that they have definitely improved on the shortcut action icon. So this is a picture icon and early in the betas, it really didn't look that good. This is also a shortcut action icon. Now this isn't using a photo. This is actually just using like the Apple icon setter. And I wish this one was better because that should be all clear other than the heart icon. So this just opens up in case you are wondering. This one I have set and it says choose your Bible. That's uh, because I copied the one and I didn't think to change the title. But this one has my health apps that I like to use. And this one is the Bible or also the Kindle app that I use. I am very happy to see that they've improved things on that one. So hopefully we get more improvement here. And I can probably tweak this maybe a little bit by changing the color. Maybe. I'm not sure. Apple really needs to work on that and just make it clear no matter what the background color is. So hopefully they'll do that. Let's switch back to dark mode just to see. See, if you see in dark mode, it works really well. So that changes that icon to mostly black. And then of course the see-through works really well. Also, might as well take a look at the control center and everything's looking good here. Um, let's go ahead, let, before I forget, let's go ahead and change this. Cause like I said, this background is like perfect for this. So it has a little bit more color to it. Maybe let's use apples. Cause this one, like to me, it's like, man, here we are in apples. This is apples default wallpaper currently for iOS 26. So let's go ahead, go back to customize, hit that customize. Let's go to the clear icons. Once again, like, I don't know, like I wish they were more clear. And Apple's gone back and forth on this. You know, you can see even the widget right here, it's not fully clear. Control Center is adding a lot of darkness now. Before this was way clearer and people complained a lot about it. I didn't mind it that much. I really wish it wasn't so dark. Like, I don't think, I thought there needs to be an in-between here because this is just too much. Whereas it's like, there's no glass effect at all, like at this point. So let's go ahead and look at the, see, once again, they darken that. It makes it a lot easier to read, which is really nice. But once again, like, it just kills the glass effect. I mean, you can still see it, but it's not, I don't know. Hopefully Apple continues to work on that. Everything seems very fluid. I will say that, like everything is just, launching and opening better than I feel like it has been. And then I also want to go back to, if I can get that right, customize. 
and let's go with the default icons. Now, one thing I will say, and it still looks that way to me, but some of these icons just look a little bit blurry, and especially the YouTube Studio. I know the YouTube app also was looking kind of blurry. It seems like anything with the white icon at least to my eyes, just look a little bit blurry with especially red. But at this point, I expect that pretty much to stay that way until the developers themselves kind of update their icons to work with that new glass effect. But overall, everything seems to be working really well. Let's go ahead and check out the camera app. So we have this new interface in here that you probably have seen demonstrated, but you have just two options just real quick there but you can scroll to everything that we've had before, which is really nice. And then if I go back to photos, you also have these controls right up here, but if you also didn't know, you can kind of just swipe up from right there to access them a little bit easier. That way you don't have to come all the way up here to tap on them, but you have all these controls and this is where this has really improved things because having all this has been super nice. Same thing goes for video. You have a few more settings up here. You can shoot in log or HDR. You also have HD 4K and then your settings right there. And of course you have additional settings right there. That's what you can slide up on those as well. So the camera app has to be one of my favorite upgrades. I'm loving the simplicity yet power all mixed into one. And that's where I feel like Apple just thrives. But I did want to take a look at a few things else and see how they're handling any changes in here. So we have this, it looks like they still have a pretty good amount of like blur added to that. So that makes it a lot easier to see, but once again, they have really backed off on this whole glass experience. This is nothing like what they showed us in the beginning. And you know, part of it's good, part of it's bad. We're just gonna have to kind of wait and see. Now, one thing that I'm not seeing, let's see if it works if I go to News Plus. Like this used to, I'm pretty sure, I know it does in the TV app as well, it used to go away. Like when you scrolled, it would all go into one. And I really like that. And right now it's not doing that. So I'm not sure what's going on. Also, have you tried the puzzle game? This new emoji puzzle game? This stuff's a lot of fun. I am horrible at it, but it's still a lot of fun. So if you haven't tried that out and you have Apple News Plus, be sure to try that out. Let's go into the TV app and see if it shrinks down still. All right, we don't care about this, not now. And I start scrolling, see, now that one still works. So that's good. So I'm glad to see it's still a thing. When you get to the top, the navigation kind of comes back, but you can also just tap it and go into the areas as well. But I really like that. I think this like makes the whole glass, because you your full app here, like, you don't have a ton, like there's just two little things right there in the corners, everything else just gets you full access, fully merged into the app. And I just really like the way that looks, and, but you can still get to everything you need just with a couple taps. Something I haven't tried that I wanna try, cause like I said, it takes a couple taps. If I tap and then swipe, yep, okay. So just like that glass effect that they showed us, you can just kind of swipe on it and go to the one that you want. Nice to see, I'm glad they've done that as well. Now, another bug that I think they fixed in the last build, but just wanna make sure that it is still there, yes. So the icons, if you have less than four, they are back to center. Before, at one point, that was not the case. So I'm glad to see that that is fully fixed and that fix seems to be staying put. So that's really nice. Now, if we head back into the settings app, we can go ahead and close this out. That was that was a little bug type thing. Maybe that was because I was in dark mode before. Let's go ahead and switch back to dark mode just because I think it shows up better on camera. And you can see the item that you selected does have a problem, it seems like, with switching back when they, so hopefully Apple fixes that. But luckily that's nothing that's really too big. Let's go ahead and go down to the phone settings because Apple's been changing some things with the phone, with all that new features, with um, the incoming call, unknown caller stuff, and we'll see what we have. 
So detect call waiting is there. And then here we go, screen unknown callers. And I think some of this was in the last build too. I just didn't go over it, but you can ask for the reason of calling. So if somebody calls you, the AI assistant that you now have built into your phone will answer the call and ask them what's the reason they're calling and then it will send you like a little snippet or somehow maybe a notification. I'm not really sure, but we're going to try this out and see how it works and I'll keep you updated on that as well. And then you can also just silence from unsaved numbers will be silent, sent to voicemail and displayed in your recent list. So you can just completely block them out or you could have the phone answer the call for you and be like your little assistant, which that's going to be fun. Like I'm super excited to see how that all works. So that's really cool. You can have block contacts. All that's the same. The detect call waiting. I've tried this once and I got to say it did not work very well. So I did it with Apple because I thought, well, if anybody it's going to work well with, you think Apple's tested it on themselves. Well, but the way Apple does when it comes back, it like asks you to like hit a button to confirm that you're still there or something or other. And by the time I was able to get the notification that they were back, I had no clue what it was asking me to do. So I actually had to recall and go through the whole process again. So hopefully that is getting more and more improvements to let people know like what has been said before you answer so you know what to do. Because at that time, this was during the first or second beta, it just wasn't ready yet. But we have all that, that's really good. There's also some battery stuff and you saw, maybe maybe you saw it, I think I closed it out. We'll just scroll to battery ourselves. So battery percentage, power mode is adaptive power. So I think they make some additional improvements with this, but it says when your battery usage is higher than usual, iPhone can make small performance adjustments to extend your battery life, including slightly lowering the display brightness or allowing some activities to take a little longer. Low power mode may turn on at 20%. So I like this. I like this adaptive power setting. Like I think it's really cool. And I have noticed the brightness going down. And a lot of this has to do with heat. So as your iPhone gets hot, you know, if it's using a lot and you're charging your device when it's hot and all this kind of stuff, that can really kill the battery health of your battery. Keep all that in mind. And that's what it's trying to help prevent here. But while we're in battery, let's go ahead and go to battery health and just take a look. So right now I'm already down to 94%. Betas are rough on the iPhone. So I've had 350 cycles. Uh, first use was in September. You know, not even a year and I've already dropped 6%, but battery health is normal, supposedly. I know some people are really good at keeping their battery health at 100 for a year, full year. I've never been one of those people. I've always dropped, especially in the summer, just running the betas, going. Usually I go to Florida or I go somewhere else that's hot and it just does not go well together. So that's part of it as well. Now, another really cool feature on the iPhone is in the Photos app. You can do it in the wallpapers, but you can do it everywhere now. And I'm not sure if it's been when they added this. It might have been the last beta as well. But you have this little icon right here when you're looking at your photos. Click this. It does like this scan of the whole image. I've already actually done this one. And then when you kind of move it around, you can see the like the sky in the background kind of moves, but the it's just really, really cool. And I don't know if the camera is doing it justice. I can even go to this one. You can see it just did a scan, zoomed in a little bit. And now you can see the clouds kind of move in the background. And I'm hitting glare as I move, so I'm trying to get it. But here's a picture of my son. I can hit the little spatial thing and we kind of have him works really good on people you can see as i move it around his body kind of moves around but the background kind of stays put 
It's just, it's a lot of fun. And I'm really happy that Apple's added that. It really does add a lot of fun and improvements to the home screen and the wallpaper. And you know, it's those little things that are just kind of cool that just make the iPhone what it is. Overall, as I mentioned, everything seems to be running really smooth, really fast. I'm gonna go back to the dark icons because those don't look as blurry as the others. And I'm just really happy with how everything's going. Even though, you know, I really wish there was a little bit more glass effect on here that they've kind of removed. But let me know down below, how are you liking iOS 26 so far? Are you on it? Did you get the public? Are you on the developer? I'm just super curious. I hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless.